Hey there, I'm Vicki Howell. Welcome to my Get Schooled Crochet series, where I break down the fundamentals of crochet to get you crocheting fast, awesomely, and successfully. Let's see what we're gonna learn today. If you'd like a little more height than a half double crochet and much more flexibility than a single crochet, you might wanna go with double crochet. And the abbreviation for that is DC. So you're gonna start as you would for anything else with a foundation chain. If you don't know how to do the chain stitch, you can look at my chain stitch YouTube video. All right, so after you've worked your chain, you're going to work in the fourth chain from the hook. So there's one, two, three, four. All right, you're gonna yarn over, insert the hook through that chain, yarn over again and pull it through that chain. All that's done is gotten you secure and over to your next, to the next position. All right, so now we're going to yarn over once, go through both loops, and yarn over for a second time, go through both loops. Second time, because it's double crochet, right? And that first chain four, or it will be, um, working through the fourth chain of the hook actually counts as a double crochet. So after we've done that, now from now on, you just are gonna work in the next stitch. And if you're not sure where the next chain is, if you give a little tug, you'll notice right here, you can see this stitch moving. Well, that obviously has a stitch in it already. So you know you gotta move to this little guy over here. So we're gonna yarn over, insert through hook, yarn over, pull through. Okay, so we're secure in that position. And now we're gonna work our yarn over, pull, pull through two loops twice. So yarn over once, yarn over twice. And you would just continue all the way to the end of the chain. And I have done that here. I'm gonna pull this piece in. And this is what it would look like after you'd worked one row of double crochet. Your hook would still be in. So now you're ready to turn around and work again. So you flip the piece over, move my yarn out of the way, but you need to get up to the height of a double, double crochet. Double crochet is, you know, depending on the weight, weight of your yarn can be, you know, an inch or more tall. So you couldn't just start working or else you'd get this weird sort of uh, bunching of fabric. So you're, the very first thing you need to do is chain to compensate that height. And that is a chain three, one, two, Three. And you can see that that mocks the same height as the double crochet. You can see that the row below. So that will count as your first double crochet. So we're not gonna work in this first one. So we'll move ahead and work to the second. Now from now on, there aren't chains to work in. So it's gonna look a little bit different. The mechanics are the same, but where we're gonna put our hook is a bit different. So if I flip this over, you can see in the top, you can see the whole stitch looks like this little kind of loop or raindrop. We wanna go under both of those loops. So we're, again, we're gonna yarn over like before, insert under that stitch, under both loops, yarn over, pull through. Okay, we're established, so we're over in the position we wanna be. And now we'll do our yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more. And you would just continue in that manner until the end of the row and for as long as the pattern calls for you to DC your little hearts out. All right, you did it. I can't wait to see how you're crocheting. Please make sure to tag at Vicki Howell on most social media venues. I'd love to see you working the stitches and creating projects from the stuff that you've learned here.